And here we go into Nova Prospect. Okay, so as I've mentioned, um, Nova Prospect is a prison, more or less. Well, prison slash holding facility. And for and you know I I don't know I just really like it for some reason because it's okay not for some random reason I like it because this is where the story kind of comes back because it was kind of missing from Ravenholm like from the beginning of Ravenholm onwards basically you're basically you're sent to meet here 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 and that's kind of how the game goes oh god these guys have been brutally murdered but by what I wonder anyway yeah um I don't even know Anyway, yeah, um, but yeah, this is where the story just comes back, and it's it's quite a good comeback because you get a you get a plot twist here, you get a nice little revelation there, you learn a few things about this place, and you find out a little more backstory behind what the combine. For one thing, what the Combine Soldiers actually are, and loads of other things. And so it's really nice. Um, bum, 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 bum. And, I don't know, It's it, this is a very, as my friend would put it, a very world-building so, sort of location. And I, I don't, I don't know. I really appreciate it for that. It's a very easy to appreciate level in general. Also, these turrets, they, 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 they die whenever they're knocked over. If you've ever played Portal, they're just like the turrets in Portal. Although I doubt that you've played Portal, but not Half Life Two. But Portal was somewhat of a smash hit when it came out, so it's possible, I suppose. Anyway. Oh, gosh. So, if you weren't tired of barnacles yet... Ugh. There we go. And... I think there's, yeah, that one left. Yeah, sorry about that. Hold on, quieting down a little bit. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. But yes, it's it's Nova Prospect. I'm trying not to. There's certain things I want to say at certain times, and it's just I'm I'm going crazy with it. So yeah, if you didn't knock down those turrets before, they would be hitting you here, and you'd be like, oh crap, and running through. Also, head crabs. <sighs> of the fast variety. <laughs> of the fast and refusing to die variety. Hmm. Well, as you can see here, you've got no choice but to jump down. <sighs> so many. Where? Who's... Ah, uh, I'm so disoriented right now. <laughs> uh. So, dead bodies, dead bodies, dead bodies. And there's this room, and there's this down here, which is where the antlions come from. This is where antlions come from. When a mommy and a daddy antlion really love each other. <laughs> but seriously... Um, this is the interesting thing about Nova Prospect as a level, 
is that you've got these random spots where the ant lines have kind of busted their way in. And so it's almost like the combine are slowly losing control of the place. With that said, they do still have their turrets working. And unfortunately, I am very bad at shooting them down with the gravity gun, so I may end up having to use an explosive. Or that worked for that one at least. Uh Fuck, I'm using a grenade. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes it's hilarious, you'll use like a grenade or something and they'll land right side up and then... <laughs> yeah. Well anyway, here's your first lambda location of three in Nova Prospect, which is kind of interesting because Nova Prospect is one of the longer... Um, it's one of the longer chapters in the game, I think. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Anyway, uh, well, that was that's one anyway. And there's something that's going to be coming up that's going to be, well, shocking, if you know what I mean. And ah, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Oh, calm down. I'm just infiltrating a prison compound one of the main prison compounds of an entire alien species that has managed to, for the most part, enslave the human race. That's all I'm doing. You can see my predicament. Oh, hello! So you remember how we took care of the antlion before? Or the big antlion before? Ooh. Yeah. It's very easy to do. Again. So, after that rather anticlimactic fight, let's continue through Nova Prospect. Oh, hello, buddies. It's interesting. If the ant lions. I don't think the ant lions are ever near you whenever you fight the. Big ant, the giant ant lion guardians, I think. I think it's an ant lion guardian. I don't know. I'm having trouble remembering my Half Life 2 terminology slash species identification. Let's see, so this is where. This entire area loops around, and I tend to get lost very easily. Well, I say lost, I mean, I tend to have trouble finding the actual way to go even though it shouldn't be that hard. Oh, that sucks. So the Combine had barricaded themselves in here and it just came through a different portion of the wall entirely. Man. Also, the doors opened this way and they had it barricaded from the other way. What? <laughs> okay. In other news, the Combine are the most intelligent enemies ever. In, in all seriousness though, um, this area of the game is not that hard to take care of. As long... well... This whole section of the game isn't terribly hard. There's like one or two spots in particular that do stand out as a little more difficult than others, but... Hmm. You know what? Ultimate fire. Th that was one of those situations where it... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As I was saying, this is one of those situations where... 
uh, the explosion didn't knock the turret over. Ooh, wow, look at that guy go. He just... Aw. He went and killed three of them before anything bad happened. Before he died. I'd say that's pretty efficient. Also, antlions versus manhacks. You gotta love that. These tiny little machines getting hit by these giant antlions. Also, the manhacks can receive more punishment than the combine soldiers can from the... Um, Ant lines, which I don't get. Hmm. Come on. So yeah, this this Vortigaunt was being tortured. And, um, yeah, I would assume they were torturing him for information. But, and, it, and it's pretty bad. This place is, this, this place is not good. And also the door was barricaded. Again with the door being barricaded from the wrong side, but still, somehow or another. Ugh. Anyway, your, la your next lambda, oh my god, there are so many of these things. Your next Lambda location is going to be coming up very, very soon. Oh god. Move, antlions! Ugh. Okay. So, you're, you're going to want to send an antlion across, because I'll just show why. Yeah. As you surely just saw, the antlions make very are very good at setting off traps for you. Hmm. Anyway, but yeah, um, there's your next lambda location. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. It's the upper level of the row of cells next to the electrocuted Vortigaunt. And, uh. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Back down. Because <laughs> this is where we actually are going to continue the level. Also, that ant lion totally got in there and knocked that turret over. And move that out of the way. Launch that like that. And you can go through vents again, because <laughs> Lord knows you didn't get enough of this last time. Before. Period. Ever. If you stick that in... There... Nothing happens, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the shovel, then. Shovel works. Okay. <laughs> uh, I apologize for being so scatterbrained on this. It's just kind of... Anyway, Pulse Rifle makes quick work of the last Combine soldier there, and you can just knock these two into each other, and that should take care of that. Whew! Alright. So, hmm. Anyway, let's continue onward.
So now you have this, and I think there's a loading screen coming up. Okay. Aha. So, send the ant lions. They will explode. Yep. Oh, yeah, and also, um. Yeah. Tease. I think it's Dr. Breen. It's been so long since I've played through this game entirely that I actually can't remember if it's Dr. Breen. It's Dr. Breen. Dr. Breen is talking to the Combine Overwatch, telling them to keep an eye out for me. Or Actually, no, he's trying to keep the people in line. That's what's actually going on. Basically, as a way of saying, hey, you shouldn't fuck with me because... Gordon is just one guy. Which kind of has a point, but it wouldn't be much of a sci-fi shooter story of rebels versus oppression if the rebels lost, now would it? Oh crap, I kind of just walked straight into these. Anyway, ah, ant lions. I just, I just crushed one. Ah. I like how well written these background events in the game are. It's, just, it's just everything in this game is just so good, so good. Yeah. Uh. I'm letting the ant lions take care of the bad guys. Yep. Go ant lions, go. Um. Oh. Right. There's there's that thing right there. Uh. Hmm. Well, I could keep falling and failing. I suppose that's also an option. This is a horrible episode. <laughs> I, am apolo I apologize. But yes, they were torturing... They torture people here, basically. And interrogate them. And... Hmm... I don't remember where the next land up location is. <laughs> but that's worth watching either way. So... Where is it? Where is it? Um... First off, I need these guys to move for me. And second off, okay, this place leads to nothing. Fair enough. Hmm. Ant lines. Oh, crap, I just noticed that I have, like, no health. How did I miss that? <laughs> hmm. Oh well. I guess as long as I'm careful and don't get knocked around too much. Hmm. Transhuman arm. Yeah, that's another thing. They here they turn you they take humans and mutilate them and turn them into combine soldiers, and that's that's how this works. And it's, it's, it seems like a pretty horrifying process, because they basically strip you of every single piece of your humanity, both in terms of your... Basically, they... Uh, I don't know. They, they, they cut off your genitals, for one thing. 
remove all sex organs. They change your face around. Uh, they emaciate you and probably remove all non-essential organs. And I can only assume they do all of this while you're alive. Because, you know, what sense does it make otherwise? <laughs> oh my god, so many bodies. Uh, yeah. If you're a combine soldier, you're basically brainwashed. The city... Civil protection, however, tend to be people who volunteer for it. So yes, there are people who volunteer for the position of oppressing people. Oh, and that's one of the lovely things they turn you into, by the way. Yeah. Hmm. Now I must put the question to you. Anyway, um, I guess I'll see you guys next time.